<laughs> Hello, I think Rick, I remember saying after you today, we're going to talk about Darkwing Duck. When there's W, it's called the W. Darkwing Duck. And today we're going to talk about the mysteries of Mr. Banana Brain. <laughs> and he'll be my Mr. Banana Brain for it. And for those of you who don't know, Mr. Banana Brain was a ventriloquist dummy by Quacker Jack, you know, like the thing that you get in the baseball games. And he do it like this. Hey! Hey, Quacker Jack, how about we show that pink? And of course, all Quacker Jack's themes would be joke related or something like that. How about we shoot them up with eggs and yolk on their house? So, see, so Mr. Hobo here is gonna be my Mr. Banana Brain, and he's gonna narrate the episode. You're not gonna shove your hand in my hand. <laughs> no. No, that means you're gonna narrate. Hello. Are you feeling quite depressing because of this? Okay, never mind. Okay, never, okay, never mind. You can't narrate yourself out of our history book. You can narrate yourself out of a Dr. Seuss book. So anyways, the episode starts off like any episode does with the theme song. Darkwing Duck! Get dangerous! Darkwing Duck! Yes, from that, it was a superhero. Horno. <coughs> Shut up. My friend said Horno. No, Corno. Yes. So, anyways, I Darkwing Duck was a show about a superhero, so basically like Batman or the Shadow. Nothing compared to that. More like under Captain Underpants. So, basically, it was like Batman or like the Shadow. Captain Underpants. You're not going to make me say it. Yes, I am. Underpants. Captain Underpants. It was like Captain Underpants' as villains. Happy? Other way around, though. Shut up. Stories from the Bible.